previous uh rushing my horse to the emergency vet video this is part two of that go watch that first it's gonna make a lot more sense to this video so let me start off by saying i am just emotionally mentally drained i'm so tired i am been crying just because she's not getting any better um it's day two it's saturday they did blood work on her she's anemic guys Guys, come on, he's anemic. Um, yeah, that's not fun. So she has to go on some supplements for that. Uh, I don't, I have to order this supplement that I have to give her for five days, and it only comes in 30 day supplies, and it's $300 for the 30 day supplies. So th that's nice. <laughs> I wish they sm sold it in smaller portions. Um, she has to go on a new grain because the one I have her on, I guess, isn't a high enough fat concentrate for her. So she's on Purina. Um, I have it right here. Sorry. Okay, she's on, gonna be on Purina Ultium Growth. And I guess she has to, it's really complicated. Like, she freaking has to have. A certain amount of poundage per day for a certain amount of days and then up it to this amount for a certain amount of days and then up it to this amount for a certain amount of days it's just uh so I had to get a food scale to measure that because the vet told me to get that I also bought um, a whiteboard a dry erase board that's gonna go up in my little room that I just bought which I still need to finish my little construction zone in that and make a video on that. Um, but right now, not my priority. And I have that whiteboard just because she's coming home with so much medication. She's got anemic. She's anemic. She is still constipated. Uh, she's pooping some on her own, but it's not enough to make a difference pretty much. It's like coming out water and cow patty kind of poop. It's not normal poop. She's still impacted she still has colic compaction um she has ulcers uh turns out that that little black spot that the vet thought was a gash isn't actually a gash it's an ulcer that for some reason she stuck her head through a fence and ate a weed and i guess the dye from the weed dyed it black and now it's faded and now it's an ulcer I, i'm not no vet i don't know <laughs> um she has to spend another night <sighs> she's drinking water she's trying to eat her shavings again so they moved her to a different stall uh next step if by tomorrow she if she still has an infection and isn't pooping normal she has to go on ivs she's being hand walked four times a day by the veterinarians <sighs> um if she if the ivs don't work then it's surgery let's hope it doesn't go that far um <laughs> also four weeks after I bring her home she has to go back and get scoped again that's fun uh, and she has a couple other things wrong they did a bunch of blood tests on her and she has a few other things wrong but those things are kind of like they'll fix themselves when she gets everything else better <laughs> I am pissed at myself because I didn't know all this was going on, you know, she did that lip thing once in a while, but I never thought that it was this many issues, you know, I thought maybe it was because I was having issues with my cinch and trying to figure that out, um, so I'm really disappointed in myself, but I did do what I could, I had the vet look at her multiple times and examine her, I had the vet do blood work, and none of this stuff was ever told to me, so I'm really mad that they missed it because this vet that she's at now the specialist said she's had this for a while quite a while so could have been a little bit after i got her she started having issues could have been before i got her we don't really know a time frame 
Uh, but yeah, she's super, super bloated because when they do the um, scoping, they have to pump their guts full of air and water um, in order to get the scope through, I guess. And then they have to drain all that out. So she looks like she's about 12 months pregnant right now, literally. Like she's going to lay down and have a baby. Uh, I can't really go visit her. It's like a three or three, two and a half, three hour drive away from me. And that's one way. And right now it's costing quite a lot to keep her there. Uh, for the ulcer treatment, they're going to put her on two ulcer treatments at once. One of them is $40 a day. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> so I think just for the ulcer treatment, he's for one month, he said it's $800, $900. I've already paid 1000 for everything they did Friday. That's already $1,900. Um, not including the supplements that I still have to go buy. Uh, and who knows how long she's going to stay there. Who knows if she's going to have to have surgery. Oh, guys, just pray for Kamani and I will keep updating you when I can. Right now, I'm so freaking tired. I'm a couple minutes from my house and I'm going to go take a nap because I cannot, cannot stay awake. Um, but yeah. I mean, if you guys want to see when Kamani comes home, everything that she's getting, all the supplements, all the food, what she's getting, comment down below and I'll definitely try to do that. And I think I might make a video on how much this all costs too, because that way if somebody ever has an impaction colic with their horses, they can kind of get an estimate of what it could possibly cost. I'm just praying, you know, I'll pay for the surgery if she needs it, obviously. But I'm praying it doesn't have to go that far. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And I'm updating you as I can, okay? So, keep that in mind. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully the next video will be great news. Let's pray. Alright, bye guys.